This isn't going to work. On down my allergy mask, and it sticks. Spill child. What's up, you guys? Welcome back to my channel. It is your girl, Aaliyah Ray. If you guys are new here, welcome to my page. And returning subscribers, as always, thank you for tuning in. So today, guys, this is probably not the longest i've been in the house but actually our first night we're going to stay tonight um you guys seen i did a lot of shopping it is monday starting off the week it is going on three weeks of us having our new home and we have not even slept in here the being is that we were still waiting on our beds to get here uh i still don't have a mattress our couch had to get upstairs and just get all cleaned up and stuff and i did a lot of that last week and i was vlogging y'all but i just needed a week to like get together this So it's Tuesday. The carpet's getting clean. Looks so nice. I look so tired, guys. And I don't know if I'm gonna post this vlog because I definitely said I just wanted to give the internet a break for a minute and get myself together. But I'm still recording because I'm like. This move has actually been a lot more than I thought. Plus, my truck is still in the shop. It's a battery and alternator and just waiting on the alternator parts, y'all. They're also charging me an arm and leg. My warranty is done. So I'm just kind of like, this is some bull crap. So I've just been over here just waiting to go ahead and pay this high ass bill. But hopefully it'll be done this week so I can get things going. I'm excited to start off our week fresh in our new house. So I went grocery shopping and you know when you have that move of grocery shopping, you have a lot of grocery shopping to do. So I had to get like spices. I really didn't get too many condiments because the kids and I really don't rely on like hot sauce, ketchup, and mustard and stuff like that. But I will eventually get it as, you know, um, company starts coming over and Drake's here. But anyways, I found a couple cool things today. Um, at the Dollar Tree, I found some really cool like facial things that I'll show you when I go upstairs. But look what else I found. Super cute egg um, holder. And I got two of them, but it like connects on the shelf. And then we went over to um, Sam's Club pantry bin, six piece, which I'll probably get another one, but this one was uh, $24. And then my mom gifted me a 90 piece meal prep kit, 20 bucks. So don't walk, run to Sam's Club. They got some really dope, um, you know, really good finds. And then I even got me some new knives, y'all, in a black set, $19.99. Like, I couldn't let it go. So we got these things. I want to just wash down our dishes, organize them. Uh, I put some of the food away, but I want to like organize it. Look at them. Peace, peace, peace. You know better than that. What you? This is it. Absolutely love our house. Um, I'm just ready to like start getting it together, and it's taking me longer than I expect. Oh, and one reason why is because I don't have the car, so it's like I'm not moving around as much. I'm like. Y'all know my license is messed up and like nobody wants to get me a rental car. And on top of that, I really don't want to because I look at it like regardless if I'm paying Dre, whatever, that money that could be spent on a rental needs to be going to my car and to this house. So I'm kind of like, my mom's like, you can just take my car, take my car. But like nobody wants to do that. So it's been slowing me down. But anyways, we're here. Let me get to the kids. I heard them doing shit with those bananas. Well, I'm bummed. This isn't going to work. But I could have them as sliders. So if you guys are interested in these, make sure you just have like those flat, non-curved down shelf situations or they're not gonna work. Put them like that. All right guys, got some organization going on. I'm excited. I'm excited. Hi. I see, they see you peace. This is the fridge. So I gotta get more containers. I think I'm just gonna go back to Sam's and get another one of them. 
Um, and I'm probably gonna give these egg things to my mom because I think hers is flat. But I got the kids some snacks and stuff, veggies. Y'all, I'm doing a 90 day challenge as well. I started today, um, three months until I am 35. I'm about to try my new Cuisine North Advantage knobs. I'll show you guys that. We're gonna cut some watermelon and pineapple. Love is sleep. Let's nice, guys. I'm excited to be in here. I think my mom and Demir are gonna come back over in a little bit. Um, I would like my mom to help me take our big mirror upstairs, which is definitely gonna be my get ready with me mirror. Um, take this broken TV downstairs and put it in the garage. And what else did I wanna do? Oh, put the stand together, put the TV up here. So this is good that I'm in here now because this week is gonna be definitely not me working. I may do some travel clients, but it just gives me the time just to be in here and just get things done. Oh, and some more dishes. I found more dishes. I thought I threw everything away because this box is super heavy. I want to bring it upstairs and um, just wash those and put them in here. And in that way, I get a clear view of what I have and what I need. Like, I just don't want to do a bunch of impulsive spending and buying stuff that I do not need. I'm excited to decorate and get more things. Our house is definitely a lot more bigger than our old one. And we have lots of space and storage in our like kitchen area. Um, but that still doesn't mean I gotta just buy unnecessary shit, you know, so. All right, let's cut some fruit up. The kids are asleep. I was able to get a nice shower. I absolutely hate the shower head in our room. So that's going to be a switch up. I wasn't able to get in the shower last night. Like the kids were. I put them in the tub and stuff. And they were just kind of like cranky. They were on me. Shit, by the time they fell asleep, well, I should say love fell asleep because Peace fell asleep at a decent time. By the time she fell asleep, I fell asleep. I woke up about 8 this morning. Maybe like 7.56 <laughs> to be exact. And I only plan on going to the bathroom and I end up staying up. So I'm currently at child care. I had to come down here because y'all, I'm trying to get my kids in daycare and get some child care if I can, um, which I should stay at home mom. So I can get back to working and I think it's just time that my kids get in daycare. I was against daycare though for the longest, but I think having two under two, everyone else was like, yeah, go, 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 go. So if I even don't put love in somewhere, I'm definitely putting a piece um, so yeah, I'm just, I just decided to come down because I'm like, let's just get this on a roll because I just wasn't really hearing back from my caseworker, but that's because they had me hooked up with the wrong woman. So it's actually dope in here. I was thinking I was about to hit some welfare, no offense, but that building is a little chaotic. Um, and it's not like that. I could have even brought the kids and they could have played and everything. So shout out to you guys for making this environment very safe and clean and comfortable.
<laughs> you must not understand what no means. Because for whatever reason, you just keep going. I said no. I'm not laughing at you. No. Get out of my face. We clearly know you. Aww. Aww. PC. <laughs> Aww. <laughs> mm. Thank you. Mm. Thank you. You still a badass. You still a badass. Here to stay at home. Yeah. Bag back. <laughs> no. <laughs> ah. Spill child. If you guys are using this or know anyone to use it or curious, make sure you guys leave me some comments. But I ordered this, and at least it's like the 21 day free challenge situation or whatnot. So we are about to test it out. I'm going to make a TikTok. So I'm going to, have to turn my camera and get off of this. But I am going to come back on here and give you guys a little taste tester. And make sure you guys follow me on TikTok to see the full unboxing. I already took the shot it's actually good it's like a citrus but not heavy um I got a little roll of the left it's thick but it's not something that's nasty that you would get like oh my god I can't take it we get it together yes the number one priority peace is room yes <laughs> You ready for your shot? You Love honestly took her shots like a pro, to say the least. She screamed out because I'm sure that was a shocker to her and definitely didn't see it coming. But immediately she stopped crying. Um, and now she's kind of just like looking around and talking regular. 
that's one of the hardest things as a parent is like dealing with uh, shots. And what's crazy, no shade to my baby boy. Because mommy still cares about how you feel and stuff too. If you ever get older and watch this. But it's something about your baby girl getting shots or being sick and little things like that that like hurts to the core. Like I can't even watch or anything. I'm like ready to cry. <sighs> when love is, you know, getting shots and stuff like that. But anyways, guys, it's Thursday. Um... I'm on my way to Starbucks real quick to get me a nice drink. I've been trying that lavender matcha latte. I like it, but certain Starbucks make it better. You know, like that floral taste, I don't really taste in some places. I love Ohio Boulevard, um, but I haven't been there much because I really don't go that way to like go home anymore. So, and they knew me there. I'm gonna have to make sure I swing back, but we're just gonna swoop down here at Robinson because that's where we are currently. Um, what else did I wanna talk about? Oh, so this was Love's first one year checkup that we missed, unfortunately, because we were in Iceland. So she's getting caught up. So she had to get a few shots and then we'll be back at the end of April for her to get two more vaccines. And then she'll have a six months from that date, or no, from this date for the hepatitis uh, follow-up, like booster shots. And then she'll be good again. She'll be good for a while. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much what we're doing is like getting caught up with love. Getting caught up with love. I don't have many things planned at all today. I would love to work out. I've been you know, doing decent on my diet and stuff, pretty much all fruits and vegetables, lean meats, know the regular thing that I'm pretty much doing every day y'all <laughs> um great water intake etc but I'm going to go back to my mom so I can give her her vehicle and she can take us home the tv's up I don't know if I showed you guys that stuff last night look at me All right, guys, we are back home. Um, I just had an interview at KinderCare over here um, where I'm considering taking my kids. I did want to take them to one of my homegirl's locations, not only to support her, but it may be a little inconvenient for me of not only of where we live, yeah, but just the traffic of me going back and forth to work and getting to work. So I'm only taking an account of not going with her location due to the inconvenience that it may cause. Um, but we'll see because I just wanna see some of my options. So it doesn't mean I'm gonna go with this whole place, but this place is a little closer to home. It is closer to home. Um, and the interview went well. Like I love the program, the curriculum the separation of the rooms for the kids, what they're working on, a summer program coming up. It's a little more higher in price, but I do not mind paying for luxury. <laughs> Convenience obviously would be great. And um, I think we're gonna call it a luxury, but I think I think it is a luxury. More for my kids, more to Maria, right? So that's been well. So I just hooked the kids up with a little bit of snack. I'm gonna make it something to eat and uh, I went to the nail store and even got to show you that. I ran there and grabbed a couple things. But let's just say I'm feeling good. We're just getting unwind and just knocking things down to get to the next to the next step. Oh, I gotta take my spoiled child. Got my workout clothes on today. I've been fasting, so I'm like haven't ate nothing, but I'm definitely past time to take uh have a meal. What's up? I don't know what I'm about to make, but we are going to do dishes because yesterday I pretty much put that food together back and then ran out the door. So, <laughs> are y'all telling me, telling all yourself, trying to blame each other? You caught red handed. Every day, just constantly cleaning and cleaning and cleaning and cleaning and cleaning after the kids. 
If you're having any more kids, probably the not. All right, guys, it's much later. Um, it's just a gloomy day in Pittsburgh. What? You're not getting a Nana. We just like cut a watermelon. My son could eat some fruit. So could love, but he just ate like half the watermelon. But I'm fixing up some dinner. I'm making some salmon, some Brussels sprouts, and probably rice. Uh, we eat a lot of rice in here, but the kids love rice. Just checking with you guys on this Friday. Like I said, it's gloomy outside. Ain't doing much of nothing. I just finished BMF. I just watched the episode in the daylight. I said that because I feel like BMF was like a nighttime thing for me and Dre. But y'all, let's talk about it. I don't want to spoil anything, but just like leave some feedback or whatever you want to talk about in the comments and I'll like respond to you because, uh, you know, the series is going right now and, but I'm excited. Like... Some people were saying that it was like boring and kind of dragging. I rewatched some of these episodes so the last couple of days, just rewatching them. And then I'm like, no, it's not dragging. We're just dragging on our phones for something and missing stuff. I'm still missing where that, respectfully, the dyke boss comes in. I know her relation. I kind of see what she's about, like, but I miss like how she came in, her introduction to this season. So I'm just kind of see it. I want a little. I just miss I'm missing that part but um I'm liking it and I'm excited for the next episode because I feel like now we're going to see where he like really kicks off and becomes the icon um but yeah that's it y'all I got to talk about the weekend's pretty much nothing to oh today y'all I'm my client like I am not taking no clients at home I have a couple faithfuls and for y'all that are watching my faithfuls and love people I I just can't because one I'm not really trying to Flood my mom with watching the kids. So my client today, I had her and I had felt so bad. Like I couldn't work to my potential. Peace came, stop. I couldn't work to my potential. I felt like my swirls were off. Peace and love were just like crying and just acting so out and I felt so embarrassed. And I, although she's my faithful client, she's cool, it's still not fair, you know what I mean? So I'm like, look, I'm not taking no clients. I will holler at you April 1st when I get in my studio suite and we go from there. So that's the update on that. Nonetheless, I just miss doing it, so that's one reason why I was doing it. And of course, I don't mind making any money, but like part of it is like I'm not doing nothing, why not? Anyways, y'all, um, I have a client tomorrow at 12, and I'm kind of like, should I tell her no? But I feel like I already have her hopes up, and I got a client next week, it's a baby shower nails. I'm figuring some things out. I feel like after this, I'm not taking anybody because, yeah. And then Sunday, we were brunching with the girls, uh... I missed Tiffany's birthday celebration. I got home that day, so I'm looking forward to get with my girls and just celebrating. I guess we're celebrating her birthday a little bit, but just connecting and talking and getting dressed. I'm decided to just throw some clothes on and look nice. So that's on Sunday. So that's what our weekend is pretty much looking like. I need to go to Target, I need to go to Walmart, still get like cleaning supplies and get stuff. So we'll jump all into that. So I got the foam bed, um, which I'll leave all my links and stuff in. But this is gonna be good for like shower routines, night routines and stuff, hair washing. You can put it in the shower with you and it protects your phone from getting wet. So this is the foam bed. And then I got this little bad boy, which I don't know why I assumed it was a lot bigger, but look how big it is. I got long fingers, but this is actually small. And you just plug it up against the wall and then I can put my phone on it. So when I'm doing my get ready with me, like I am going hard with my content, but I'm like, I need to make sure I have all my stuff polished and all the things to do it. And then I got this one, which I love. It's actually small. So when you're seeing these things for like two, three dollars, the reason is because they're little as hell. Like I can actually see this one breaking in a day, but it should probably just do its job. It's little, but just a little tripod to take, especially like when you're doing your target runs. Um, even when I'm in the house or like right now, what I'm using, I'm actually using my Jensen Move camera, but I, I mean tripod, but I lost the bottom so it doesn't move with me. 
I gotta order a new one of those too. And then I got the gooseneck. Mom, why the oven? I remember my girl Delaney had a really nice gooseneck. You're in her way. Watch out, peace. I need to get like a a, a kid cage so then they they'll be out of my way too. But this is what you clip onto the phone and then this. Here, pick up this piece. Super hard, but it's the gooseneck. But I can like put it against a table or like my counter. So when I'm doing my cooking videos, I need to record me. And it like moves up and down. This is probably going to be my favorite, most useful piece. So that's what we got in the mail today. I ordered a couple more things from Sheen as well for nails. So I'm going to with my content, okay? Put your thumb down. Give it to me. Just the thumb. I don't want another hand. Just the. <laughs> Thank God for Instacart. Yeah. It has been like a rough week for me to even pick up this camera and try to get some content and continue to vlog. And when the girlies be getting on y'all vlogs and they be like, and y'all be like, it's been a while, and I'd be like, sis, you just uploaded last week. I get what you mean, because just missing a week of vlogging made me feel like, oh my God, I'm so disconnected from YouTube. So I didn't want to go another week without vlogging, but we are still getting adjusted, and it has been such a rough time because my truck is still in the shop. It's looking to be done this week, or at least by April 1st. I could pick it up and move forward. I got my secure studio suite. I'm excited to share that with you guys. Um, get back to nails. You know, I try to take a few clients at home, but that's not not gonna work. Like I've had the kids a couple times and they went crazy. It's super cold in my garage and I'm not trying to fill or even bring everyone to my home. I love my clients, trust you guys, but it's just still like, this is my home. You know what I mean? Like I just don't want that. So I was just still trying to make ends meet and Excited to do nails, also want to make a couple dollars on top of like wanting to look out for my clients, you know? But that was, that has been actually stressful because I also feel like a lot of my products were like cold, said they weren't doing the right thing, like the gels and shit. I felt like my swirls on my one client's nails, they, I not felt, they weren't how they normally are, like just the conditions. And I'm not, like, I'm not, it, mm -mm. so that's a no, y'all. So I'm just going to be patient. It's Easter week coming up. I got to get the kids' baskets together. I got to get outfits. I haven't done nothing. And I feel like I can't. Like, my mom is an incredible help. But I feel like I'm running her around and, like, Instacart this morning. So to tell you guys, yesterday my mom was here. My grandma was here. Um, we were chilling, and I ran to Walmart. Picked up some money, Dre sent, and I totally forgot to get more Pampers. I don't know why I thought I had two, but I didn't say, oh, I have two, I'll come back. No, I just, whatever. So my mom and my grandma both asked, Leah, do you need anything before we leave? I'm like, no, nah, we're good. Later on, I'm like, oh my goodness, I need to change the kids. We had no more Pampers. So it's late at night at this point, but I'm like, all right. They'll be cool in the morning, but in the morning, they're going to be balloons. I text my mom, like, could we just go to the store early or bring me some Pampers early, whatever. So then y'all thought of Instacart when I woke up because I could not sleep. It would just bother me so bad. Like, oh, my God, they need change. They're going to be balloons when they wake up. Like, is this going to cause any problems? I just felt like shit. So I barely slept, and I actually got up at, like, 6 in the morning after probably falling asleep and not sleeping since like three or four so let's just say after i end this vlog i'm going to bed <laughs> um and it's like almost nine o'clock now so anyways um yes in the morning seven piece gets up now and so i'm like you know i'm just gonna wipe piece down and we've been doing like i've been letting like run around without his pamper and stuff like potty training so i'm like dude let me know when you gotta go potty he went potty funny as hell i walked out he was squirting all over the place <laughs> But anyways, then my little love, I'm like, oh my God, her, it's a balloon. I know my mom is still asleep. I text my grandma. My grandma wasn't responding. I didn't ask her for nothing. I just wanted to get her attention. So long story short, um, I'm like, Instacart. 
and he came in like 20 minutes. So I was ecstatic about that. Like, why the fuck didn't I been think of this? Now, last night that might have not worked, but I could have got on even earlier. So I got them cleaned up, and they love woke up, and then they both just fell back asleep. So I'm about to fall back asleep, too, because I am really tired. I'm skipping brunch with the girls. Um, we were in a group chat talking about a time, and no one even said anything. So I wrote, like, y'all, I really don't know if I'm going to make it, but I'm not giving up yet. I might have set the, set the toe not to go. <laughs> Um, I just feel like I, I would love to see my girls and kick it. Don't get me wrong, but I'm not even ready. I haven't even tried to get ready because I have so much other shit going on. On top of that, it's like one of my girls going to have to come pick me up. I got to do this to drop the kids off. It's like so much to go spend two hours with them. So I'm like, maybe I'm just going to skip and I'll holler at y'all next month when I got my truck back. I'm back to working. We got the house more situated, just like a more stable schedule. And although we've been here since March 1st, we actually only stayed in this house for a week. It's been, it'll be a week tomorrow. So still getting it together, y'all. So bear with me. Thank you guys for tuning in. If you like this vlog, make sure you guys give it a thumbs up. And to see more of my house unraveling back up here in Pittsburgh, um, Easter week, my new studio, new business ventures, New things opening as I am refreshing myself. I'm revamping my brand, refocusing and all that good stuff. Make sure you guys tune in for more. I'm also taking that cleanse. It's down there in the mailbox. I got to go pick it up. I'm going to start that tomorrow. I want to try to cleanse. I've been eating great all week. Yada, 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 yada. Make sure you guys are subscribed for more of your girl. And as always, peace and love.